Hello guys, in today's video, we're going to check out the best Fuji travel lens in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I've tried to list them based on their price, quality, durability, and many more. To find out more information about these Fuji travel lens, you can check out the description below. If you want to get a best quality Fuji travel lens according to your needs, then watch the video till the end, and then decide to buy. At the first position of our list, we have Fujifilm XF23 Tool RWR. I'll be telling you why I think this is a great little travel lens. So I've owned the 23mm f2 lens for about a year now, and I've taken it with me to Jamaica and throughout Europe. And I must say it is one of my favorites. The Fuji 23mm f2 lens is smaller and lighter than other Fuji lenses, making it a more comfortable option for smaller cameras without unnecessary parts and pieces. The lens is sturdy and feels like it's been made out of quality material. The lens hood and cap are both made from plastic or metal lens hoods that can be purchased as extra and replace the plastic ones. As mentioned before, one of the biggest pros, it's convenient size, it's small and compact, which makes it an ideal javelin that attaches easily to your camera without adding any unnecessary extra ball. The lens weighs just 180 grams. This is small and affordable and is compatible with all Fujifilm X-Series. Interchangeable camera systems are perfect for beginner photographers, ideal for vloggers, and are must for a street photographer. It will have you itching to get outside and snap photos of people's buildings and opportune moments. The free build is also perfect for throwing into a backpack and taking on adventures. Moving on to the next at number two with Fujin and X F16 F2.8 RWR lens. So when the Fuji 16mm f2.8 was announced, I was pretty excited to get my hands on it and see what it was all about. The 16mm actually comes in an f2.8 to keep the size under control, but for all intents and purposes, this little guy is definitely part of the same family. So I'm going to call it a Fuji Cried, even if it is f2.8, and you can't stop me. In terms of specs, the 16mm f2.8 is an APS-C lens with an equivalent field of view of 24mm on a full-frame body. The design weatherproof lens is made of 10 elements and 8 groups, including spherical elements. That wouldn't be available if I did have a lens like this in my bag, so all in all. This is an excellent versatile lens for street photography. So, don't hesitate if you want this focal length. This is a great choice and for the money. There's really nothing else in the market compared to this, so it should be obvious from how I'm going on that I'm a big fan of this lens. The number 3 position is held by Fujin and XF56 Phone.2 R. I've been using Fujifilm for roughly 4 years now, and 56 Phone.2 is a lens that keeps getting recommended to me. I've always been interested in trying it out, but I've never got around to it. And yet it's given me a major headache on whether to buy this lens or not. I like using longer focal lengths like 50mm, 56mm, 90mm for street photography. I know lenses like this are generally used for portrait stuff and studio work. But when taking street photos, I find it can be a bit more creative when using longer focal lengths rather than wide focal lengths. I'm just going to share my thoughts on using this lens for roughly three weeks. So I rigged it in this unit from Fujifilm as I'm still deciding whether to buy this lens or not. I'm going to discuss that in more detail. So let's kick things off by talking about some of the things I like about the Fujifilm 56 Phone.2. And the main reason I'll take up a lens like this is to shoot at Phone.2. I find that bringing something new to the table brings that low light capability, brings in that stealth lift where you can. You don't have to be so close and focus on something, getting a new look very unique. Next at number four, we have Fujin and XF 50M F2 RWR lens. This is one of my favorite lenses. I use it all the time, forestry and travel photography, and commercial work. So the first thing I'm going to say is 50mm lenses are normally used for street photography. So you have to remember, this is 50mm on a Fujifilm camera, which uses APS-C sensors. So, on full frame, this 50mm lens is actually 75mm. Now, a 75mm lens or 50 films case is very rarely used in street photography. If you look at most famous street photographers, those guys will use 23mm, 35mm, or 50 on a full frame. 
I just like the range it gives you so when you are inside the pulse of the city. You don't actually want to get up in people's faces, nor do you want to sometimes disturb people from their day-to-day -day lives by getting in their face with a wide-angle lens. So if you primarily manually focus, this lens may not be for you, and that's because all the focus is done electronically. The number 5 position is held by Fujifilm XF27 f2.8, the Fujifilm 27mm pancake lens. What I like about this lens, first and foremost, is its size. I got this lens for the compact size and punch that it packs with small but great features. This lens actually gets down to 2.8, which is quite incredible for a lens that's small and for that little glass. There's just something about grabbing your camera and getting on the road and going out and choose some great photography. And that's what I love about Fuji's fantastic color with a simple setup. This lens with video captures some great colors and even some good depth of field for such a small lens. So like I said, if you're looking to get out on the road, shoot some great street photography. This lens cannot be wrong, packs a punch in, small package. The number six position is dominated by Fujinin X F23 Phone 0.4R. I will purchased it in 2015. It weighs 10 and a half ounces, takes 62 millimeter filters, and equals a 35 millimeter focal length framework. This lens has no optical image stabilization, is not weather sealed, has no fancy nano coating, and is equipped with a pretty outdated autofocusing more on the price tag. But for me, 23 1.4 is still one of the best Fujifilm primes. I'll tell you why I think that's the case. Let's start with the build quality. The body is made out of metal, which guarantees resistance to most forms of abuse, and high copies definitely prove that. So overall, this lens is that it's perfect. I would suggest that to anybody doing street photography. To me, the 23mm focal length, full frame 35mm equivalent. There's nothing better in terms of focal length. You can't ask for a better focal length to go out and do some great street. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Fujifilm X F16 Phone 0.4 RWR. The XF16 F 1.4 RWR lens is a wide angle lens primarily intended for Fujifilm X mount cameras. Those of you who don't mind mounting a slightly bulky lens on your small Fujifilm camera can opt for this lens. When image quality is concerned, it's excellent, no doubt. The images are super sharp. The 16 focal length with the phone 0.4 wide aperture allows you to shoot beautiful landscape shots even in low light. The outdoor photography is also extraordinary which makes Fujin and XF the best lens for travel. The only thing that concerns me about the design is its size. This Fujinin lens is little bulkier than a 16 Canon or Sigma lens. Moreover, the Fujifilm camera is small in size, so attaching a bigger lens may feel heavy. But if you're used to working with heavy lenses, this wouldn't be a big issue to you. Secondly, about the manual focus ring. It's more like a clutch mechanism. Are you able to see that black rib ring on the image? Yeah, you need to push it backward and rotate it for manual focusing. And when you move it front, MF turns off, People who love doing everything with a single touch or a single back but may find this a bit tricky while shooting videos. The internal optics consists of two spherical elements with two ED glasses to reduce the effects caused by aberrations. There's also a nine-bladed diaphragm to give you the superb book. The number eight position is held by Fujifilm XF1855. If you want to possess a light plate, 310 grams lens for your Fujifilm X mount cameras, then this is for you. If you're on vacation, there could be no better lens to capture beautiful environmental sceneries like mountains, waterfalls, lakes in bright light. As said above, this lens is not bulky like the 16F 1.4 lens and also feels very solid. The lens body is primarily made of metal, while the lens hood is made of plastic. The LM tag indicates that the lens uses a linear motor for autofocus. Some lenses become frustrating if the aperture and focus rings are flimsy. But that's not the case here. Both the aperture and manual focus rings are sturdy, neither too tight nor too loose. So, I use this lens as my go-to lens for shooting videos as well. There's a switch on the lens barrel for image stabilization so you can be confident of not getting shaky pictures. There's also a switch for manual slash automatic aperture control. This is great. When you feel you need to tune the aperture manually, you can use the aperture ring. Otherwise, change the aperture value in the camera settings itself. Next at number 9, we have Fujinin X F10 24mF4R OIS WR. 
all nature lovers out there. Here is an amazing lens that will help you capture wide-angle shots of natural sceneries perfectly. Yes, I'm speaking about the XF 1024F-4, the best ultra-wide-angle lens for Fujifilm X-mount cameras. I would say this lens is not as heavy as a 16F-1.4 lens, but it's slightly oversized. The lens feels solid in terms of build quality, and the WR tag indicates that the lens is weather sealed both front and back. This lens is an upgraded version of the XF 1024mm F4 ROIS lens, having F markings on the aperture ring. The focus and zoom rings are smooth and also easy to rotate. There's a stepper motor technology inside to control the AF mechanism. And most importantly, it's got an optical image stabilizer. So you don't have to worry about any camera shakes or jiggles disturbing your shoots. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Fujinin XF8MF 2.8R LMOIS WR. The Fujinin XF8MF 2.8 macro lens is a mid telephoto lens that uses Fujifilm's X Trans CMOS sensor to deliver excellent performance. It has a semi shiny black barrel with its dedicated focal point and opening rings. In addition to it, the extreme. The aperture ring feels fantastic and has grave total stop markings from f 2.8 to f 22. Also, its one, one focusing range is fairly close to the end of the hood when it's connected. On the flip side, the hood is fantastic because the lens doesn't flare up in any remotely practical situation. Moreover, this lens has a weather resistant construction and is immune to fog, dust, and freezing. Similarly, angle and move shake is minimized by employing a high-precision gyro sensor and acceleration sensor, allowing for five-stop image stabilization, thereby making it the best Fuji lens for travel. Finally, the XF8 MF 2.8 features 16 elements grouped into 12 classes, as well as a few unique glass elements. And in addition to the fluorite layer, this lens contains one aspheric element, one super ED element, and a trio of ED elements. Plus, the lens has no diaphragm blades on the opening side of the stuff, which makes a circular opening. That's all for today. We upload camera on camera accessories review videos every single day. So don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.